It's getting harder and harder to buy a bad phone in 2017, no matter how much or how little you're willing to spend, and Honor's new entry to the budget space is no exception. I'm Hayato with Android Central, and this is our review of the Honor 7X. While last year's Honor 6X impressed us with good build quality relative to its price, the 7X takes it to a whole new level. This is easily the best hardware $200 has ever gotten you. The aluminum unibody design feels just as solid as that of the OnePlus 5T, which costs nearly three times as much, and the curvature makes it comfortable and easy to hold. Just like on the 6X, there's a dual camera array on the back, along with a rear-mounted fingerprint sensor recessed into the chassis. Two nice features that are far more common on 2017 flagships than on entry-level devices. Speaking of 2017 features, the 7X is the first Honor phone to sport the popular new 18x9 aspect ratio, and its 6-inch Full HD Plus LCD panel is fantastic for the money with great colors and viewing angles. Unfortunately, not everything about the 7X is modern. Despite a late 2017 release, it still charges via micro USB, though at least it still also has a headphone jack. Inside, the Honor 7X runs Huawei's mid-range Kirin 659 chipset backed by 4GB of RAM. It's fast enough to handle just about anything you could throw at it, but there's the occasional stutter when switching apps or running multi-window. You also get 64GB of storage, and if that's not enough, you can always pop a microSD card into the second SIM tray. One thing that's missing from the 7X is NFC, meaning you won't be able to make purchases with Android Pay, nor can you take advantage of the quick pairing features on certain Bluetooth devices. This isn't a huge deal for everybody, especially given the $200 price tag, but it's something to keep in mind if mobile payments are a priority for you. Now, Honor and its parent company Huawei have been doing dual cameras for a little while now, and the 7X has an interesting setup. Around the back, the primary 16 megapixel f2.2 lens is backed up by a 2 megapixel sensor that measures depth for portrait mode photography. On the whole, photos from the 7X look pretty good, but you're certainly not going to want to order prints from this camera. There's no OIS on board, so low light or shaky hands can easily ruin a shot, but Honor's post-processing really helps pull out the best photos possible with impressive dynamic range and decent colors. The camera software comes loaded with over a dozen different shooting modes and plenty of settings to fine-tune your photography experience. You could argue that it's overly complicated compared to other camera apps, but some of the options here are great to have. The document scanning mode is great for keeping track of receipts on a business trip, and you can even capture photos by touching the fingerprint sensor when the shutter button is just out of reach. Up front, there's a capable 8 megapixel selfie shooter that takes some pretty good looking photos as well, subject notwithstanding. You lose out on the majority of shooting modes when using the front facing camera, but one thing of note is that you're still able to turn on portrait mode, which works decently enough, all things considered. The same can be said of the 7X's software experience in general, which could very well be the Achilles heel of this phone. It's running Android 7.0 with Huawei's EMUI 5.1 firmware, despite phones like the Honor View 10 already shipping with EMUI 8. It's fine, but so much of EMUI just feels clumsy compared to stock Android or even software from other OEMs like Samsung or LG. There are a ton of preloaded apps from Honor, and by default there's no app drawer on the home screen. To enable it, you have to go into the system settings because the option just isn't there in the home screen settings. EMUI is full of little quirks like this, but to be fair, it's also got some nice touches here and there. You can access your notifications with a swipe down on the fingerprint sensor, and there's a handy app twin feature that lets you create a second instance of supported apps like Facebook to easily manage multiple accounts. Since the Honor 7X has an 18x9 display, there's also a scaling setting to stretch unsupported apps to fill the entire screen. On the whole, EMUI is fast and fluid, but the questionable design choices may turn you away if you're used to a cleaner build of Android. The bright side is that EMUI is fantastic on battery life. The 7X packs an impressive 3340mAh battery and easily manages to pull through a full day including Slack, social media, and the occasional Animal Crossing. It isn't the fastest to top up since there's no support for quick charge, but the 5V 2Amp charger included in the box does a good enough job. Overall, if you're shopping on a budget and you aren't too picky about the software, it's really hard to go wrong with the 7X. Between fantastic build quality, a great 2x1 display, and a versatile dual camera combo, the Honor 7X sets a new standard for the sub $200 price range. You'll be hard pressed to find a more modern looking phone for even twice the cost, even if the 7X still hangs on to the outdated micro USB standard for whatever reason. 
That about does it, but if you enjoyed this video, be sure to get subscribed and head on over to AndroidCentral.com for more coverage. Thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you again soon.